I think this is just insane because now I finally have a use for my iPod. So if you're trying to figure out why I'm so happy about being able to use my iPod, it's because Blackmagic Camera App released an update. And not just any update, probably their biggest W update since the whole app has been released. I have made the choice to not use any of my professional cameras to record these YouTube videos because I just feel like in breaking the whole big setup thing and, make, and making it easier to communicate and make these video for y'all, I can shoot this on my iPhone. Now I'm literally recording on my iPhone 13 right now. It's been sitting up since I got my 15. I ain't really had too much use for it. I say, hey, why not use this to record these YouTube videos and these TikToks and things that I speak to? It's cool, right? But you can see that I'm using the back camera. And the main problem with when you're recording with the back camera the iPhone is, unless you have an Apple Watch, you have a hard time monitoring how you look or getting your palm position because you can't see it. And Blackmagic the camera app release remote control for the iPhone so I can use my 15 to control this iPhone 13 while it's recording me. But even better, they released it for the iPod so now I can use my iPad to record me. And you can see it's a little small latency, but that's a small little price to pay because now I can frame up my entire shots and I can get everything what I need done just using my iPhone. So cool, I got the iPhone 13 sync up to my iPad. I can fully control the iPhone 13 from this iPad. Let's see how we can set that up inside the app. Cool, once you got the app downloaded on your iPad, you're gonna go down to the remote camera control. And you can see here, I already have a toggle to where I'm using my iPad as a controller. But if I wanted to record this off the iPhone and the iPad simultaneously, I could sync that across both cameras. I could hide my remote camera feed and I could dim the remote camera feed. And when you get into the main menu, you have all of the options. It's auto focus, your shutter speed, your shutter angle your white balance iso i can control all of that from my ipad also note that there's a little small wi-fi button in the top corner that is where you connect to your other phone and you're able to set up a password i think you have to put in like at least a one letter to set up a password so that you can connect your ipad to your iphone so for all my fellow content creators if you want to use your iphone as your main camera which is 100 doable because you're watching a video on iphone right now Go and download the Blackmagic camera app. And if you have an iPad that you ain't using or another iPhone that you ain't using, you can now monitor yourself and make it easier for your workflow so you can get into editing and making that content. See y'all in the next one.